biochemistry and the citric acid cycle. <coughs> to begin the citric acid cycle, you have to understand that there are eight intermediates and nine enzymes involved. After glycolysis finishes, it creates two pyruvates. In order to begin the citric acid cycle, these have to be converted to acetyl-CoA. This is done by the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase. This reaction produces one NADH and one CO2. The acetyl-CoA can then combine with the oxaloacetate with the use of the enzyme citrate synthase to create citrate. To make this proceed, you have to put in one water and produce one acetyl-CoA and one hydrogen. The enzyme aconitase will then change the citrate into isocitrate. To move forward, the enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase takes the isocitrate, changes it to ketoglutarate, and produces one NADH and one CO2. To change the ketoglutarate into succinyl CoA, you add the enzyme ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. To do this reaction, you must put in one acetyl-CoA, one NAD+, to produce a CO2 and a NADH as byproducts. The succinyl-CoA is changed into succinate by succinyl-CoA synthase. This reaction produces one ATP, or GTP, and also one acetyl-CoA. The succinate dehydrogenase complex will change the succinate into fumarate and also it will reduce your coenzyme Q so that it can move forward in reactions. Fumarase changes your fumarate into malate. This reaction is a hydrogen hydrogenation reaction. You must put water in and it produces an NADH as a byproduct. The final step to the citric acid cycle is done by the enzyme malate dehydrogenase which changes malate back into your initial step, oxaloacetate, which can begin the cycle again.